And here we are guys, before the next matchup, the Night of the Jackasses continues, but before that, let me just remind of, what, of those who haven't seen it, what happened earlier tonight, earlier tonight, it was supposed to be a match between the Toxic Blondes, Mandy and Dana, against the Women's Tag Team Champions, the Warriors of the Sky, Amber Moon and Io Shirai, but unfortunately, Candice and Nightmare, who were at ringside, attacked Amber and Io, the ref sought this qualification win for the Tag Champs, Amber and Io, so the heated rivalry between the Warriors of the Sky and the Demon Family will continue. Also, we um, saw earlier tonight, uh, another attack from the Blade Runners on, on Andy and Zero using their numbers game, their cheap and cowardly tactics once again in perfection. And yeah, once again Andy and Zero can't work together as a team, as a unit. And once again Blade Runners got the better of him here tonight in this, in this assault. In this cowardly assault if you will. Um, also we saw Massman and Wesley getting a victory over Pete Dunn and his lackeys. Danny Birch and only Locken in a handicap 2 and 1, uh, 2 and 3 uh, handicap match. Despite the numbers game, Wesley <laughs> did it all by himself. <laughs> Surprisingly, and got a victory in the end. That was that was one hell of a shock. A mess man didn't even got tagged in tonight. Um, yeah, even though the things between the NXT UK uh, champion mask man, Pete Dunne, and um, and Pete Dunne, or Pat, Pete Dunne and Wesley are far from over, but all three of the men will meet at, take, at the next TakeOver event, so Wesley, Pete Dunne and Masman for the NXT UK Championship. But that's what we already know, what we already know, what we also know is that earlier, t that, um, earlier tonight Santos Escobar attacked Sasha's teammate, his brother, his co-owner of the tag titles, Big Sasha in a vicious backstage at where he put him, attack him with vicious the chair shots, he put, he placed Big Sasha on the table somehow and uh, jumped from up the stage to the table to Big Sasha and then it three Phantom Drivers onto the stage chair. Yeah, hopefully Big Sasha can make it to take over. Hopefully he doesn't have any concussion, concussion or injury. But if then what will be a take? What what does that mean for the title rematch uh, at Takeover? I mean, it was. Like got the Phantasma uh, de defeating the brothers for the first time ever. The, the brothers got defeated in tag team actions against the got the Phantasma and lost the title to them, but get got them back as well. And um, yeah, um, so they lost the, the, they lost them in a surprising fashion in the open challenge in a five star banger matchup. Uh, and another five star banger, the brothers regained the title two weeks ago, but last week in a six person tag match. I got the Phantasma got the victory over the Brothers and the Ia Dragon also. I don't know why Santos Escobar tech picks such earlier tonight. Doesn't make any sense to me right now. And um yeah. Um anyways, they will meet if Big Sash can make it, they I I assume they meet for the third and perhaps final final time at takeover event or maybe Big Sash needs to needs to uh you know, get needs to surgery, needs to spend time in the hospital, or we don't know yet. Hopefully, he can make it to take over. If not, what does it mean for the title match between Sasha and Big Sasha Brothers against the guy the Fantasmas, Roman Mendoza, and Jacqueline White? We don't know, but if they don't get another title match, it's blame on their leader, Santos Escobar. But also, um, what makes more sense is earlier tonight uh, we had a match between the NXT. UK women champion Zia Lee against her, against the former champion and her enemy, so, so to speak, Sue Cox. And this, and um, in the match, Stacey Keebler at, um, distracted Sue Cox and the official to strike with a baseball bat from behind to give, get some revenge, some retribution for herself and for Zia Lee on Sue Cox here tonight with Zia Lee getting the huge win. Just a couple of moments ago, now we have Sasha versus Santos Escobar. And I've been informed that Sasha arrived in the arena very late and then he got informed about what happened with Santos Escobar and, Big, and his teammate, his co-owner of the tag titles, Big Sasha. And Sasha, without a word, demanded a match with Escobar and we haven't heard anything from him. So it will be Sasha versus Escobar with Escobar of course have his lackeys by his side um, here in this matchup. So yeah, this will be the case here tonight. That's what's going on down here tonight as we have now Sasha all by himself against three men if you will. I mean, I'm pretty sure that um, this will be the case. I mean, we saw what Escobar ca can do here tonight. So. Here tonight, so 
Here comes Zasha. Hopefully I didn't forget to give them boost or they got the Phantasma escape table. <laughs> Would be a shame if I have forgot. <laughs> But there he comes, one of the tag team champions, usually he walks alone, this time he walks with his brother Big Sash, but not tonight though. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see I'm also Zasha's Wendy Autumn's music. Uh, Wendy Autumn's voices team as an entrance music, just to let you know. Because it's fitting. It was my first entrance back in the day, so it's very fitting. But of course, there will be... Uh, much more to come for not just my character, but it's for the all the other characters. There will be much no that might are. that also change the characters and um, shown off the personality. Um, we just got started, so bigger things are to come. And um, yeah, you also will see the journey, the full complete journey of all of them, if you will. Not um, not like I um, had in the private. Um, Pass, but it will. I I try to copy uh, as much as possible about their origin stories, if you will. But um, yeah, and also why we do it on 2K22 is because of um, I had so many so many great storylines planned here, and so I want to execute them before going to 23, 24. You know. Del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds. Santos Escobar! Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment yeah, is an art form. As they, they come. Why is Asha's all by himself tonight? Always it's the first the time since three about three, mu three months ago. It's the first time since NXT World Tour Canada. Uh, NXT World Tour in your house, excuse me. Since our first paper view NXT takeover in your house, where he had the last his last match all by himself against Woody Strong, where he came on on top to Spike Patel in the field. And now we are come for the match. Match on the way. Sounds like Escobar, but Zasha with the knee. Of, Zasha with the knee. He didn't move Meteora, not the knee of glory though, as Mendoza and White are looking on. As Zasha gets a battle of their leader, getting some sort of retribution here. With put knee into the cover, but he breaks things up, he has other plans and other vicious storms, angry storms, but Escobar with the reversal. Will we see a wrestling match though, or will it we won't be a match, because as Escobar mocks Zasha for that mistake. But maybe it wasn't a mistake. You uh, SEO and into cover would be enough. No? Surprisingly quick kick out. I suppose what you have a to move take the there shot, from Escobar, the leader, former NXT Cruiserweight champion. Got him ground, oh, kick to the back. Also former North American champion as well. The pass is Sasha with the U-tree. Sasha him with another vicious knee strike. That's what he's known for. His vicious knee strikes. Should Escobar in the corner. What a move there in the corner by Zasha. Isolating the foot. Tagging the leg there with a full DDT and now stomps out on Escobar. He's angry as I rake as Zasha. As Escobar with the reverse, maybe Zasha's anger got the better of him. Not a smart move, but who can blame him? Who can blame him? It's it's not it's his brother gonna attack all it's his teammate, Snake Eyes by this coward ass cowardly self in terms of Escobar now attacking the arm. Yeah, indeed. Aggressive work, but Zasha keeping himself up as Escobar was about to fly, but Zasha stopping him. As much liking of the crowd. Or behind the Sloan with for the DDT. As Zasha knows someone, everybody, but much like his role model when the Orton does. Now, once again, as Zasha isn't done with Escobar. Stop at 
after stop. Relentless. Kick to the midsection. Going for Canadian Destroyer. As I was feeling it. Energy of the crowd. But that's a distraction by Mendoza. And Sasha fails for it. But what can you do? I mean, you need to have eyes everywhere. As Escobar sending him to the outside. As Escobar flying to the outside. Where is he now? He's probably about to attack your fish. But Sasha got the knees up. Sasha got the knees up. They're attacking their leaders. Mendoza kicks to the face. Their knees to the face from Sasha. As a distraction again by Mendoza. Sasha now attacking Mendoza with the whip caught knee. Left that four already as Escobar making it back inside the ring. And so Sasha. Sasha. Reversal of the reversal here. As Escobar got the better of Sasha though. And now dragging Sasha in the corner. Slamming him down. As Escobar. Tried to fly. Sasha keeping himself yet. But yet again keeping himself up. He's so tough. And also, everyone is tough in this situation. I mean, they got the Fantasma. We saw a tough day off. Uh, uh, my, and the uh, parts of uh, White and Mendoza with two five star bangers with Big Sasha and Sasha. Sasha tried to fly. Second wall springboard, but Escobar moved out of the way. Came for landing for Sasha there. It's Escobar. What has he in mind? Got him in the corner. Bring him up on top, but Sasha with the huge reverse. Go to the face there. Shoving him into the, into the splash zone and hit him with a knee. Again, the distraction of Mendoza here. But Sasha didn't fail for it. So just focusing on Mendo focusing on Escobar. This person who is responsible for the attack on his brother. Because he attacked his brother David Sasha early in the backstage area. And Sasha now pounding angrily at the map. Much like his one more than Wendy Orton does. Suicide dive on Escobar. Sasha taking flight lesson. Sasha's attack on Mendoza as well with a bulldog. As he's fired up. That was a fight right to attack White as well, I believe. If he missed, I believe. Is he? Nope. Attacking Escobar. Rough Rider. Of that four already. Sasha's attacking everybody now. And understandably so. Knee for Escobar. He's looking shaky at best now. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Sasha. And then those onto the ring. But Escobar, can he take advantage of it? Hit him with a suplex as Mendoza, leaving the ring. Elbow to the back, that was of Sasha. Sasha, big trouble here. Escobar, what a suplex, what a suplex. Jump back suplex and not done yet. Times two, and, nope, changing plans. Oh, was for a suplex mix here with Clint Eagles, eh? That famous by late great Eddie Guerrero, legendary Eddie Guerrero. Kicks and strikes of Mascobar. Almost as jacking Sasha from the wing, but Sasha, a huge mistake. I don't know what he has in mind, but was stupid as he eats the move there from Escobar. And Escobar tried to fly as Sasha moved out of the way. And Escobar had landing there. Sasha has a knee on Escobar yet again. And again, that's Dosa with the Mendoza with the distraction. Sasha hit him with a knee. He has enough of the shenanigans. But it cost him there with a back break on the outside. And Mendoza got ejected. Finally, some justice is served here. As Sasha reverse on Escobar. Sending him with a solid steal. Sasha now. It's docking Yakin White. But that's we already. It's not a match anymore, I believe. It's more personal than this. They took his brother, his best friend, his only friend perhaps. Of that four already. His teammate as Escobar. Of that five already. Will we look at the double count up? He just strikes him on both sides as Sasha. Shooting Escobar around. Of that six already. Drop pick for Escobar. 
doesn't make it back into the ring. He returns to the ring. We need to make it back to the outside. Swooping oh, wide into the barricade. Un it's an un unseen side of Zasha here tonight. As Escobar picking up Unmake Pain, pay for it. Phantom Drive on the outside as wide as one in the, going away from the situation as well. Perhaps we already as Escobar vicious and angry as he storms on Zasha as he mocks the crowd and Zasha. As well as Escobar mind. What's he doing? Oh, he's visually clever leaf on the outside here. His own version, I believe it is. I've said five already. And click too much then Will we see a count out here? Do they, does Escobar care about the count? What is that seven already? I don't think Escobar cares about the count. But Zasha with the reversal. I've said eight already. Zasha makes it back inside the ring in time. Try to get Escobar with something, but nope. Gets a spine buster for that. Maybe Zasha is too angry to fight here tonight. Try to get Escobar. Escobar. Oh, Zasha, who got some better? Zasha with a power bomb. We never see a power bomb from this man before. So that's not his strategy, but for DDT now, he's focusing on the lack of Escobar times two. And what has Zasha in mind here? Bring Escobar to the apron. Escobar, Escobar with the reversal. Close line from Zasha. Unleashed everything, every anger, everything. As Zasha here tonight. As he flies with another suicide dive. As White is looking on. As Zasha doesn't get it, he doesn't get involved. And our prisoners here tonight hit him with a near glory. Zasha now. I've lost it here tonight, I believe. And for a huge DDT on Escobar. And he delivers. That's at six already. Will we see a count out here? Normally Zasha doesn't look for count out. He's a fair fighter usually. He's now bringing Escobar back inside the ring. And insane love. Insane celebration from Zasha as he waits Escobar to get back to his feet, perhaps looking for Neo Glory on him. No Kinshasa. Maybe him. What a mockery here. Yeah. this one. Hits him with a Neo Glory now. But Zasha hasn't done yet. Zasha goes to the apron. Hits with a diving knee. Takes on White as the fence chaining one more time, one more time. What has Zasha in mind? He's looking for an object in this normal matchup. For his baseball bat, I believe that he laid. Let's see. Gave Stacy earlier as Zasha attacking Escobar viciously with the baseball bat. Disqualification. The ref was in shock. Normally, it's <laughs> Zasha doesn't do this, but he loses it here tonight on Escobar getting revenge as Escobar wins. Oh, come on.